This segment of Life in the Carolinas is brought to you by Way to Go Merchandising, delivering scalable merchandising and store setup solutions for retailers across America. Well, folks, Roxanne, nice program, Roxanne. Good. Roxanne's the one who sent me a nice long email of saying, Carl, you've got to come down to Chester because we've got a wounded warrior amputee softball team going uh, coming to Chester Absolutely. and I read that twice and I was like what is that and I never heard of the organization before so thank you for inviting us down Roxanne tell me about this event today and how did it all come about well uh, Lorraine Pavlik one of our members of PAC uh -huh. suggested because she had seen it on the uh, a clip on the news about wounded warriors and she just has a heart for uh, our military. Right. I'm retired Air Force and so is my husband. So as soon as we ha heard a speech by Lim Anderson, we decided to jump on board and for three years now we've worked on this event. Wow, so it's taken three years to three make this years. happen? Yes. Wow, well, you're determined. <laughs> yes sir, we are, but the whole community has come aboard and they're helping us out. That's so, so it's a community activity now? It is. It started out as a PAC event, but the county and all kinds of organizations joined together, and now it's the whole Chester County community. I'm president of the PAC organization here. That's the Progressive Association of Chester County. And uh, we're proud that uh, our members have come in and put this, got this thing together to put it on and uh, for the uh, community around here. Uh, you know, all of the community is invited to come in out here and participate in this. We've also held uh, uh, different uh, programs for training people in the community for different jobs and so forth with the new businesses that are coming in. So you guys are very proactive in helping promote all things Chester. Exactly, exactly. We love Chester County. <laughs> How you doing? I'm, uh, I'm Alex Underwood. I'm the sheriff of Chester. You're Alex. Now, yes, Sheriff. Sir. I just witnessed a hundred motorcycle riders right. coming in in Chester right. right here at the softball game. I understand they're well behaved. What about it? Oh yeah, they're very well behaved. Because matter of fact, you know, we escorted them so yeah. they couldn't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're veterans, so you better watch out. That's right. We we love them. We appreciate their service, and we can do anything we can for them, and we're gonna do it. What is this type of an event? A gathering with people coming together to to honor our wounded our wounded warriors, our, our amputee guys. What does this mean to you? Well, sir, as a veteran, I know many veterans that have been injured, not quite as badly as these guys, and they have gave, they give, they gave up. They resorted to drugs, alcohol, suicide. But these guys, they keep pushing forward. They are out here playing baseball. I am not a gambling man, but I would put my money that they are going to beat these regular guys today. I am so excited about this. All right. So here in Chester, South Carolina, this great ball game, uh, we've got two brothers. Now, you guys from the area? Yes, sir. We're from Chester. All right. So you're on this team. You're you're competing against the amputee warriors. So uh, who's going to win today? Hopefully we do. I mean, that's, that's our thought going into the game, you know? What's <laughs> up? Well, Leonard, you've got some fans in Chester County. Uh, I got a few. I grew up here, so there's a, there's a few people out here here to watch. Tell me about your story. Well, I I, uh, I was injured in 2012 in Afghanistan by an ID uh, while walking with me and my dog, and um, from there, you know, I went through the recovery in Texas, San Antonio, and that's where I joined the team about a year later, the Wounded Warrior team, uh, and played with them for about two to three years, and then I just I kind of moved on and I wanted to go competitively. When you discovered the team. I mean, how important was this team for you? I mean, did this was this life changing or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the team does so many great things uh, on and off the field. Uh, you know, they really gave me a, a lot of the things I was missing from the military. And uh, you know, it's it's pretty much an adaptive program. Um, you know, that they use softball. You know, for that, uh, and it gives. It gives the players so much more than just softball. Uh, a lot of it's a sense of camaraderie, a lot of the things you miss while in the service, and then also you get to give back. Um, you get to give back to you know local communities. Kids is a big part of their organization, and uh, you know it just really helps the mental aspect of trying to get back on your feet and starting a new chapter in life. 
Okay, so from South Bend, Indiana, you're here in the Carolinas now, but you're on this team. Tell me about how this happened for you. How this happened for me? I remember back in February 2011 watching um, Real Sports, Brian Gumbo, and I saw this team, you know, uh, veterans with amputations, and I was like, first of all, they don't have a female on the team, and how cool this must be. And so two years later, they actually came to South Bend, Indiana, and I played for the University of Notre Dame, and they represented their team. And I said, you know what, I want to be a part of this. But then I got pregnant, and um, two years later, 2015, I joined the team, and um, it's been an absolute delight ever since to um, be a part of um, something bigger than yourself and to educate, inspire, and motivate um, other people. And, and, and being here in Chesterton is one of the biggest crowds I've been a part of, and, and for me, um, we haven't been forgotten. You know, like our Vietnam veterans, they were forgotten a generation ago. Um, our nation is really um, rallying around us, and so that's what it means for me. We'll catch you later, folks, right here on Life in the Carolinas. No, I'm not sure which to do. What do you have? You have a... I want your ball. No, <laughs> you can't take a lady's ball.